Hey! Welcome to a Physionic video, or welcome back if you are a long-time subscriber. Uh, today we're going to be answering the question of what is the difference between L-glucose and D-glucose. Uh, you might not really care, uh, but if you want to know a little bit about a little bit about biochemistry and a little bit about physiology and how glucose affects our body, well then you might want to know the distinction between these two types of glucose because although they are very similar, they are also extremely different and knowing that might be interesting. So if that's what you're here to find out, then a short, sweet, science-based video, that's what we will answer in this video. Stay tuned. So I mentioned that these two types of glucose, these two glucose molecules are very similar. And that's because they have the same structure, C6H12O6, I believe that's right. Six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens. I think that's right. Which leads them to be very similar in terms of their structure, how they look. Uh, however, <clears throat> the difference is, well, noticeable in several different ways. Uh, one of those ways is that L-glucose is a mirror, could be stated as a mirror image of uh, D-glucose, but it is not exactly, like if you were to look at each molecule side by side, you'd be able to tell that they have the same components that make up, you know, the carbons, the hydrogens, and the oxygens, but in terms of the actual look, they have a slight difference, and that slight difference is actually enough of a difference to make L-glucose not physiologically available. So if we were to consume L-glucose, our body would not be able to absorb it into our system. It would uh, be completely useless. However, D-glucose, which is the glucose that we consume on a daily basis, be that through polysaccharides, uh, disaccharides, or just itself as a monosaccharide, uh, that is physiologically available. And that's actually what our body, actually right now, our body is filled, filled with D-glucose. So in a lab setting, they sometimes use L-glucose and D-glucose, typically D-glucose, and they might use L-glucose because L-glucose is created in a lab. But in terms of our day-to-day -day nutrition, our day-to-day -day everything, uh, we are talking about D-glucose. So that's the distinction between those two and uh, hopefully that I, I, I was able to answer the question to your satisfaction. I really hope that I was. Uh, talked a little bit about the structure and then of course talked about which one is more, uh, or which one is physiologically available. So that said, uh, please subscribe to the uh, channel. It certainly means quite a bit to me <clears throat> and I will see you hopefully, I really hope that I see you again in the next video. Have a good day. See ya.